uh, afternoon. Um, fellow Toastmaster and guests, um, short kind of, uh, we don't have much preparations this, uh, for this speech, so I'm just going to wing it. Um, I'm going to be a little more personal today uh, on my speech, and it's my core concept, my core belief, and it's just like what Eric said, it's uh, why you do what you do. Something that affected me um, very, very deeply. Um, the talk about, my talk would be setting priority in your life. Setting priority. Um, a little bit background about myself. I don't know how many of you know the refugee came from Vietnam. We, we call coffee, call fresh out the boat and so on. I'm one of those fresh out the boat. I escaped from Vietnam in 1981, um, spent a lot of time in refugee camps and so on. So I made it to the United States in about 1984. Uh, the first thing that came to my mind is, OK, how am I going to be able to be successful in this country? Because I left family in Vietnam, so the only way that I can help them escape um, the communist regime and bring them to freedom is to be successful here and bring them to unite uh, my family and here. So I'm very driven. I'm very driven. I have tasks that I have to do. Uh, first year, I have to do this. Second year, I have to do that, and so on and so on. In Vietnam, I left my mom, my uh, brother, and my sister. So it's, it's weighed heavily on me. We're a very close family. When I came here, um, and I set my goal. I went to high school for three months just to learn English. And then I went to college and said, OK, first year of college, this is what I have to do. First thing I have to do is I have to find a job so I can support myself and so on. Fast forward a little bit. Um, in 1992, I graduated from, from school. So I left in 81. I graduated in 92. That's 11 years. I finally be able to get my mom and my brother over there. So by the time they got here, it was exactly 13 years. So 13 years I haven't seen them. So when I reunited with them, my first thing is, how am I going to provide for them? I got the uh, job with the department here. So I said, I got to be very driven and very uh, systematically approach how am I going to get promoted higher and higher in ranking in the departments to provide for my family and to put my brother to college. Um, I work very hard. I put in a lot of time at work. You don't see me leave work past 6 o'clock, and I usually come in at 7.30 at that time. So I spend a lot of time. I want to make sure that my what I learned in school is applied to what I, how I do my work. And you know, systematically, I wanted to make sure that, OK, the first goal is to pass my PE and so on, so I'm a professional engineer. So I spent, spent a lot of time at work and kind of neglect the, the time that I spend with my family. A couple of years later, my mom got sick. My mom got very sick. She complained that she has this flu-like symptom. And then she has a headache. And I said, flu, headache, that should be normal. That should be passed by a week. Well, a week came by. It didn't get any better. As a matter of fact, her headache got worse. So I took her to the emergency room. And after go to the emergency, they found that she has a cerebral hemorrhage. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's, it's being in the brain. And that's why it's so painful for her. Fortunately, it was a very minor bleeding in the brain. With medication and with rest, she probably find there's no, not necessary, any kind of um, operations or anything. After she got home, you know, uh, recover, uh, her headache went away. I said to myself, I said, you know, there's a lot of things in, in, in life. Why am I spending so much time at work? Is that the only facet 
a work that I, I mean, only facet of my life that I should spend a lot of time on. I sit down and really look inside myself and say, what is it really important? Because I have read somewhere before that we keep chasing these things that we call life. We make money, but we sacrifice our, our, our health to make the money. And then we sacrifice the money to make sure that it kills our health and disease. So pretty soon you keep chasing this and you don't really live at all. And soon enough you die. You die before you really live in your life. So I said that to myself. I said, am I setting my priorities straight? So I imagine myself, you know, every day I'm juggling balls. Because in order to keep your life in balance, you have to juggle a lot. You know, uh, family, friends, works, and so on. All of us here, we all do. But my one advice to you is this. Make sure you keep this in mind. So setting priority the theme is the theme of my, my talk. So set priority in your life. Make sure all the balls that you're juggling, they are rubber balls. Except your family. Your family is a crystal ball. So if you juggle and you are out of sync, if you drop any balls, work, other, um, it's going to bounce back to you. It's rubber balls, it's bounce back to you. But don't ever drop the crystal ball. Once it's dropped, it's shattered and you can't put it back. So that is what I truly believe in. And that's how I manage my group. And that's how I talk to my boss and I said, I will put 100% when I'm here. You will be, have my 100% dedication at work. But my family comes first. That crystal ball, I'm going to protect it at all costs. So it's not, I'm not going to drop it. I'm going to sacrifice work for that crystal ball to protect that. So my one advice to you is make sure you set priority in your life. Make sure that you know which one is a crystal ball and which one is a rubber ball. And don't drop your crystal ball. Thank you very much.